Hey, Pong Lennis, welcome to Air Memories of Old. Now, for this playthrough, I'm not doing webcam stuffs per se, but I will still be talking and answering questions, as per the usual. I have consistently described this game as Zelda Wind Waker in the Sky, which is kind of accurate. There's not as much combat or anything like that. It's more of a puzzle game, exploration and story, but you know what? I fucking love it. And man, do I love the flying in this game. Although, I hear there's some trouble back at the settlement, so let's go resolve this. What's up, everyone? We have been taking care of the land of the gods for many years now, me and John, and my parents before us. But I, have but I haven't reflected on the rituals of the pilgrimage very much. Why is it that only bird shifters go through the pilgrimage? Are there, there are other shifters who are chosen by other spirit animals. There are, of course, stories that tell of Kara. She was a bird shifter too, but it feels like it's more than that. As with Kara's light, I feel you were given it to shed light on something important. But you still have a part of the pilgrimage left, don't you? Let's see. There's only one temple left, and that's located beyond the storm of Howling Peaks, all the way up at the roof of the world in the north. It's an old monastery where people lived, served, and learned in solitude. The sigil is located close to a small bell tower rather than the temple itself. Take care when flying through the storms, sometimes it's difficult to find the way. And it's raging stronger now than just a few years ago. Alright, interesting. Storms sound fun. Hey. Have you seen Aaron? I turned my back on her for just a second now, and I can't find her anywhere. Oh, this is my fault. I know that she's an adventuress as her old man, but it's not the same. It's just different when you're a kid, you know? When it's your kid, you know? Will you please help me find her? I'll search around the camp and see if she, see if the skyboat is still there. God forbid she took the skyboat. Can you search the outskirts of the island and see if you can find her? All right. All right, we got a lost kid to find. So people can turn into animals? Yes, in this world, people can turn into animals. But as they just said, apparently only birds get the uh, the honor of going to, on the pilgrimage, I guess, given their uh, mobility. Oh, there she is. That was easy. Hey. Hi, and seek. Oh, you are Auk, right? I'm Aaron. And this, this is an expedition. Look at this rock here. I found it all by myself. I'm convinced it's some kind of great evil monster man, mastermind's mineral minion. Wow, that's an alliteration and a mouthful. I have kept it under close watch. It hasn't done anything yet, except standing there. But I heard Medvin say that black rocks destroy Kara's shrine. I bet that it has something to do with that split mountain up to the northeast as well. Did you know that the spirit fox lives there? He went there once. Me and Dad... Uh, we went there once. Me and Dad. And I had to wait outside. But I found a large ruin, so I had an expedition there too. See? I am an awesome adventurer, and now you should take me with you. Maybe I should ask Mom and Dad first. If they say yes, then it's a promise. Promise? I am not agreeing to anything, kid, but sure, whatever. Wait. Oh, hold on a second. No, that's absolutely part of the void. These are absolutely the rocks that keep destroying the temples after I visit them. Holy shit. Kid, you should not stand there. Dangerous. Okay. So I'm going to the northwest, right? That's what they said. Northwest? Northeast? I basically need to reach, well, pretty much the edge of the map, so I guess I'm going to go do that now. Let's get this last temple done. And then move on to the final boss area thing, whatever. God, flying in this game is still easily the funnest thing ever. Bear, I was watching the first episode of Bear. Pretty sure the dancing crabs were an Easter eggs reference to 
crab rave? I have no idea what that is, but I'm also fairly certain it was a reference to something. Um... Okay, I've kind of been to those islands. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna follow the way we've... I've kind of been going before, just because I like the music here better. What? Dancing crabs? Yeah, there were dancing crabs in the first one. If you want to catch out, check out my videos on YouTube. So this is the creator shrine. I'm assuming safely that this is going to be like the last place I have to go to. Uh, please post it on this Discord. I alt tabbing doesn't function as perfectly in this game as I'd like, but, you know, whatever. Come on. Nailed it. So this is... Oh, no, this is the, uh, this is the Temple of On, or the Temple of Nightmares, where we were last time. So I guess I'll just keep heading roughly north. I'll explore some of the islands on the way that I have yet to visit. Oh, hello. Nope. Missed the world. Bonus. Oh, sorry. I actually already visited this place. Too fast, too furious, yeah. I mean, I'm, to be perfectly honest, like, I'm, I am a slightly disappointed that this game doesn't have more to it, because I feel like I'm going to finish up this episode, but at the same time, for what it is, it's absolutely brilliant. I think this game could be, there could, be, there could easily be a second one of these games with the same mechanics and everything. Because it is just so fun to fly. This is the protector that my father and his father before him asked guidance of. That was before the God King protected us. Oh, it's the fox spirit. So these people willingly abandoned the fox spirit in favor of their God King who was a piece of shit and destroyed an entire city. Hey, sup, Critical? How's it going? Welcome to flight school, y'all. Oh, wait, no. That's not the fox spirit. That's just a regular fox. But you're still cool. Come here. Aw. Hey, bud. What do we have here? There's always smoke rising from the temple nowadays. Smoke rising from the temple. Ooh. Whoa. I don't know how I missed that coming in, but... Those are huge mountains, holy shit. How did I miss this? Hey, careful rogue, how's it going? Man, the trees are cut up here too, holy crap. Long day? Do tell. While well, I read this. I am Ura, and a guardian of the land of the gods. I made this record so that my children and children's children may remember. On the day of the Great Divide when our, shell, our world shattered, I was still a child. I remember sitting at the white stairs of the southern city of Urza. We had planned to journey to the west, but since the god king had waged war on our city, our lands were not safe anymore, and we stayed inside the city walls. The god king Koruku, he was called, had built horrible weapons, flying machines, or raining fire, but we always thought them far away. Or, e or even empty rumors. Yeah, well that pan out then, did it. When the bells started ringing, fire and tears mixed in a horrible rain over us. We wept and screamed to the gods to end this. 
but we were answered by silence. Then the ground trembled. Great cracks appeared and split the white stone walls of Urza, and the people fell into black depths of the earth. I saw my loved ones disappear into the heaving earth, and when the steps beneath me broke, I fell too. But my spirit animal spoke to me, and I remembered to s and spread my wings. I do not know how, but I flew for a long time over broken lands and stormy clouds. I arrived at the outskirts of the land of the gods half-dead, and fell unconscious in its grass. Grass. When I woke there, a priestess sat beside me, tending my wounds. Kara! Right? She said that Urza was no more and that the world had been shattered. A god sacrificed himself to seal away the void from our hearts. Broken and broken in the world in the process. Many had died, but so had the god king, and his city of On was no more. Our shattered world was now at peace. I wept and... I wept, and still, after many years, I weep at the memory of this day of the terrible cost of this peace. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that city was actually raised before the world completely split apart. I had assumed it happened after the world had split apart. Okay, that looks like a temple to me, so I'm going to avoid that for now, because I want to explore the local islands just a little bit, get an idea of what's... You'd like to know how exciting the world's largest rubber duck is? Let me tell you, not very. The cannon fire was fun though, and I got a little ill. Careful, Rogue. Uh, what do you do for work again? Because that sounds like weird. Oh. Okay. We are lost in different worlds, without you, and without you anymore. In my mind, we reach out to each other, and hold hands in the cold. But as the statues are chained to the walls, so are our souls to life and death. Sarid, Saridda. So I'm going to pretend that's the correct pronunciation. I don't know where you are, but your memory will forever roam the halls of my heart. Oh. Is that Kara and perhaps her forgone husband or love or whatever. Interesting. Yup. Whoa, almost said that. Okay, it looks pretty clear up here. Okay, so I'll explore this little island and then we'll go to that cave. And the other islands we'll get later, I presume. Oh, I got into that one, uh, one zone again. Yoink. Day off, not work today. Tall ship festival near us. So my family went? Nice. Is there anything below those islands? Uh, I don't think so. It's just like, just a few, uh, small rocks. Oh, I'll, I'll check out this little one and then I'll go for the cave. This is a cool island though. Oh, there's a, there's people up here. Hold on. Let's hide in this cave. That's your... Those are your friends fighting out there, you coward. Oh boy, all right. Nope. It's clearly someone abandoning his post. Another spirit sign of sorts. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Looks like we're clear over here. Right. Whoa, let's go caving. But I thought the important thing was at the bell tower. You're, you're right, but this is here. It's right here right now, so I want to go check it out. <laughs>
Hey, username. How is it going? Yeah, so I played this game, I think it was like two years ago at PAX, and I am excited to go back in at, in a couple of weeks, actually. So I will definitely look out for more, for more games, because this is a simple little gem that I like. Aquiles Den. Oh, this is the cave he was talking about. Okay. So let's see where, uh, quote-unquote, cowards hide. Okay. So it looks like they took refuge in here because they didn't want to fight. Now, are they from on or are they from... Uh, the other place. Were they the conquerors or the conquered? Oh. Interesting. Is that a Kara? Well, that's definitely the fox spirit. We got that much. Okay, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Um. Shit. So, I think I found a problem. <laughs> uh, well, that's unfortunate. that four time yeah pretty much all right let's, let's, let's try that again okay so we already know what's over there um yeah that's an odd one That'll make for an interesting edit. Okay, so that's functional now. Good. Not sure why that failed to load the first time. Nope. Fuck spirit. Hello again, my wandering friend. How kind of you to visit an old fox den. It's not quite empty, don't you think? Oh, it's quite empty, don't you think? No, not most. The den. No, not the den. The land of the gods. Not as many animals anymore, nor many spirits. Laugh Leafla is still in her cave, it seems. And the old spirit bear moves from cave to cave in the north. Bears! <gasps> Am I going to find a bear? But there were more once. See, a fish and a crane. The fish spirit lived in the rivers and pools around the Twilight Lake. His last gift to us was the water that never stops flowing. Without it, we could have been we would have been lost a long time ago. And the spirit crane, she helped guide the last priestess and priestesses north during the Great Divide. She was hunted down by Koroku's men. And they mistook her for a swan. Fools. As they declined, so are we declining. All we can do is ask questions and i have two for you why the great divide and why you wander in search of answers little wanderer thank you for your company it was such a long time ago but finish your quest now or else there won't be another time Whoa. all right finish my quest now can certainly abide to that.
Whoa, that's a lot of spirits. Memorial. Oh no. The land is breaking apart. Run away. The troops from Urza are coming. Surrender, you dogs of On. So Urza and On were at war, and right in the middle of this war is when the land split apart. It seems like it. They were some sort of, as they describe in some of those texts, these were some sort of like mechanical-ish weapons. So that's like an owl and that's like a wolf or something. It's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Oh, that's satisfying. There's nothing about flying in this game that's not satisfying. I know I say that every time I play it, but it's only because it's true. This is where I will meet you, child, inside the broken mountain. This must have been the fox spirit talking to uh, Kara. The first pilgrim, essentially. Actually, no, that's exactly what she was. She was the first to go on the pilgrimage. Inside the broken mountain. Looks like a broken mountain to me. So I know I have to enter through there, but let's check around first. Okay, I'm gonna guess I have to go there next, so... I guess I won't explore too heavily. What is this? Is that a trebuchet? Or a crane. One of the two. I prefer to think it's a, it, it, that it's a trebuchet, because that's way cool. and stuff. Okay. That's not ominous at all. It's a crane too long and facing the wrong way to be a trebuchet. I mean, unless it was trying to smash the mountain is what I was thinking. But you're right, it's probably way too long. The T 
tear. Oh, I... Oh. Or the tear, sorry. Oh, I... I almost don't want to close this thing up because I love that ceiling effect. But this is caused by the void. God, that's such a cool effect. Like, damn. Looks like people are worshipping it, though. Am I not meant to close this thing up? I thought I did that with the last one. My love gazes at the false sky, but she will not know me. I took her hand and said her name, but her mind was empty. I fear that it's the doing of the hungry star. It has stolen her soul. The followers say it's a new god, and that she is part of it now. The priestess of the old gods said that her soul is lost forever. But I do want but do I want to believe this? She will try to close the rift it has opened to our world. But all those who wander on the other side will never come back. Her name is Saridha. Interesting. But these are all stones, or some of these are stones from the void too, so I don't know what it really gives. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep moving. If that's not the place, then I suppose I'll go to the next islands down. Whoopsie daisy. God King demands more rocks for his mechanical beasts. It's your head if he doesn't get them. Okay, so you're right. These are cranes, and they were harvesting rocks to create their mechanical creatures to just destroy a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just going to take a quick pause because I realize my mic is about to run out of power. Um... Let's take this USB. One moment, please. I'm gonna have to make a strategic cut in the footage for this. Uh, okay, uh, we should be fine now. Is that a save point I see? So it is. Nailed it. Okay, they weren't kidding about the storms. I'm getting super, super lost now. I can barely tell where I'm going at this point and where I've already been. Um... Hold on, I miss some people. Even if the temperatures drop, the springs are still warm as ever. See, they found some water, as long as it lasted for them anyways. I feel like that's not the way I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna check here first. Okay, so we got the little northern corner we still have to explore. Also, I see lights down there.
Beartooth Cave. <gasps> Am I gonna find a bear? Notes on the Legend of the Western Clans by Rhett, the scholar from the Summer Islands. Everything in the Land of the Gods is sacred, especially there, especially there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. I was there earlier, wasn't I? Some ancient texts refer to it as the Lighthouse, the House of the First Light, the Cradle of the World, where ancient gods first awoke and walked the lands. Now, just as now, it just looms as a small black tower made from a, alien obsidian. Lonely and abandoned, a relic of the uh, in the eyes of our civilization. It is a mistake that we don't care for it, for what was left to us by our ancestors. Oh, that's th that's literally the lighthouse at the settlement, at the uh, the village we're I guess a part of. Come on, I know there's a bear. I saw a bear! Aww. Achievement unlocked. Talk to all the spirit animals. Nice. My lady, welcome. It's an honor to receive you here. Damn right it is. You may not know me, but I know who you are. Come, listen to my story. Ah, I still remember the time when Kara was still a cub. It was her first visit to the land of the gods. Her clan was traveling through. Myself was I myself was still young, just over a hundred years. And as chance would have it, they stopped for a rest near my home at the time. I was walking by, and she went up to me. She was still without words, but she hugged me, and her heart talked to me. Years later, she came back. That's exactly what I would have done. Hugged a bear, you know, possibly dangerous animal. Anyways, she remembered me. One of her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact, but she had already entered one with a bird of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however. And I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The Creator had split himself and locked away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. He had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Three fragments of great power, the void locked in its prison, and one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again when the world was calm once more, to present me the last piece, or to present the last piece to me. The cub was, the cub was as small as Kara was when we first met, and her name was Mina. Ah, uh, time flows so fast, my lady. I thank you for coming here. It was a great pleasure to relive the past for a short while, but the world is growing weary and is missing something it once had. I hope for a great ending to this tale, and it seems it's not entirely over just yet. Aww. I love Bear. Alright. One last piece. Then we get to make the creator whole. And fix the void, I guess? But I saw a Bear. That's all that's important. I do really appreciate how the dark sections of this game are legitimately dark instead of just false dark. So is there a place further north of here? here? Yeah, there's still some stuff north of here, so I'm gonna... Investigate. Was I there already? Was I? I don't know. Hold on a second. I can see this little corner of the map. Well, maybe I'll go in there later. I don't know. Yep, that looks 
like a cave to me. important. The Cave of Harmony. Oh, right. It's the bear, and it's probably Kara. in store. I suppose that's it then. Fox Spirit's back. Whoa. My friend, the little wanderer, found her way to the far north. Aren't you cold? But I can feel the chill through my fur. <laughs> Might be the hot blood. Hot bloodedness of humans. Well, at least you made it at least you made the air shimmer in here. Like the stars found at the roof of the world, where the air is crisp and clear and storms never rage. A key in the ice to break ice once more. Go west, go north, but don't freeze to death. As other creatures before you. Go north, go west. Okay. Let's head north first. Can hit the edge of the world and then we'll see where we have to go from there. Oh, two north. Yeah, 
this is what they were talking about. Roof of the world. Storm's calmed here a little bit. I realize you've traveled far, but there is no path up here anymore. The ground has fallen to the depths. Those of us still here are leaving for a, in a fortnight. Certainly does look like the uh, roof of the world. Let's do a quick circle around. for the world. Here we go. That must have been the warning bell. I am Zuya of the Snow. Today a priestess from the far southeast came to us, telling us of a great war between the cities of Urza and On. Her name was Kara, and she requested an audience with a god that is said to sleep here, the Watcher of the Veil. Our master of the scrolls bowed to her, told her if there was ever a god, he must be sleeping so deeply that even she could not wake him. But Kara insisted, and he let her into the innermost sanctuary. She stayed there for three days and three nights. No one knows what she did there. She left us without a word, but her face was sad, and I feared for our people. What can we do but guard the most holy texts of our ancestors? We are but few, and no one believes us. Our whole world has gone mad, and there is no cure. Well, Ock believes there's a cure, and therefore, I also believe there's a cure.
too dark to see anything. Okay. I've got to light up the area. Looks like there's four lights I have to find. Okay. Let's find them then. Just put them here. Now we have now we have more food than we know what to do with. That's the symbol I'm probably expected to make. There we go. Easy enough. Mystery and a gift giver. The reasons we are all and the one who taught the ancient tribes. We long to meet you again. This place is huge. Okay. Um. Hmm. So that door is open now. All right. And that door is also open. Let's go here first. When the creator made the world, he woke the gods to care for it. 
first swam the watchers of the veil high in the sky a mighty guardian against the black cold empty endlessness forever singing soothing songs to the great dreamer lest she awaken from the dream of our world okay well the dreamer was the second temple and the creator was the first temple was it not Oh man, that's a lot of light panels I gotta hit. Uh, oh. Um. Alright. Oh jeez, okay. Hold on. There's a puzzle here. Got to hit this guy first. Uh then I got to hit this guy. Okay. One up. Okay. I guess that was it. First temple was sun and moon, wasn't it? Well, the first temple you know what, to be honest, I don't quite recall. The first temple was called the Twilight Temple because it revolved around the sun and the moon, but the actual guardian spirit for it, I believe was the creator? Perhaps I'm just misremembering things? Oh boy, oh jeez, okay. I gotta be completely honest here, I am totally winging whatever the hell I'm doing right now. Because at this point, I don't know what else to do, but it's gotten me this far. Designed some really freaking pretty rooms in this game. Really pretty rooms. Aha, a lever. I guess that's just going... Okay. Lights don't seem to be active, so I guess that's just a shortcut. I didn't... That lever hasn't been pressed yet, has it? Oh, here's that bridge I made earlier. I can't get there yet. Oh, they're teasing me. Or wait, are they? Oh jeez, okay. Um Oh, I could totally jump through that. Lame. Okay. Help, someone. I think the door locked itself. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, uh, slightly confusing. So that door must open somehow. 
Oh, but that's just the other switch. Okay, but... Okay, this must be important. The switch opened the door. This must be important. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. There's another puzzle here. All right. All right, careful, Rogue. Enjoy. Okay, and then this guy over here. There we go. Aha! Okay. All right, so I'm back to this room. still on here. No, but that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> There's no other puzzles related to this thing. So I have to backtrack it again, or... Maybe that first, maybe that first clue's changed now that there's light in here. Let's go check it out really quickly. In the beginning, there was the dreamer, asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all that there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil she dreamed the creator and the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed, the clouds and sang the sun and the moon into being. As they danced between the clouds, he took four steps and made so that the lands of the north, west, south, and east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And from the earth and water he made animals so land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity, he made gods to walk the lands and look over the world. All right. Obviously the only goal is to get through that cracked gate over there. I'm just wondering how to actually do it now. been down here yet? Uh, no? No, I have not. The entrance gate is frozen shut. There's no leaving now. That's really unfortunate. Ah, here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna be redirecting some light, I feel. This place is massive.
There we go. Oh, I see. Got it. That would explain why that window is broken. Oh, but wait a minute. Um, no. What about me, though? Where do I go? Puzzles, all right. Ah, but I do have that shortcut now, which is nice. Um, wait a minute. When we die, our souls rejoin eternity, of which they were made. Our souls are stars that the Creator took and set in our hearts. So from eternity, each time a child is born, a new star descends into its body and fills it with eternal light. Until such time as the body dies and becomes star dust, or it becomes dust again, and the star flies back into the sky behind the veil to dream. When the gods left us, they went amidst the stars to search for a new home. And when they find it, there too will be born again. Okay, where was that thing I just activated? back here Closer, little champion. I won't ruffle your feathers. I am the Watcher of the Veil. I guard this world from eternity. But I have spent many years trying to close the rifts that threaten this world. Now, without the faith of your kind, my powers are almost gone. There isn't much left of the first dream of the Great Dreamer. The dream we call our home. Did you know that the first dream brought forth the Creator? His only weakness was his tender spot for your kind, little human. To create you, 
He linked his heart to yours, but your hearts grew empty. Shocked by the emptiness dwelling in himself, the creator ripped a void out of his heart. But time changes many things, and a new little champion stands before me. A human one, even. Listen now, champion. These are my last words. This is the last fragment of the three Kara left in our care. There is only one step left now. Return the three fragments to the lighthouse, the very south where your people have built a camp. It will show you what's next. It all rests upon your shoulders now, little champion. 